going on guys? It is Fender here and today we are back playing more Lost Island. Before I get into what we're doing in this video, please make sure to leave a like down below. It does help me out tremendously and I do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the new ARC stuff as soon as it happens. And with all that out of the way, we have quite the task at hand for today's episode. That being, we are going to go after and try and tame ourselves a Uteranus because it is the last piece of the puzzle before we can go and fight the Dinopithecus. So... Uh, with all that being said, I've got a couple of happenings I want to talk to you guys about before we just go out and do it. Because in between episodes, I have done quite a lot of things. I've been quite the busy beaver. First thing, um, I've been kind of obsessing over not having a Rex Saddle blueprint. And I asked around the server and none of the guys seem to have like a really good one either. So, I went looking for one in supply drops and I looked for a long time. Like, I think I spent essentially a whole day off and on just rolling over there and looking for drops. And luckily, unluckily, I found none of them. <laughs> I didn't find a single Rex drop at all. I'm sorry I, I had to trick you guys there with the lucky for the suspense. But I didn't find a single Rex saddle blueprint, not a single one. So the luck is not with us on that area. And we're just going to have to go into this boss fight without a Rex saddle blueprint. It's just, it's just fate. It's just fated to be that way, which sucks. It is what it is. It just means that we're going to have to level up our army a little bit more than usual just to make sure it has a lot of health because they're probably going to get whomped on. Uh, with that being said, I have a couple more things to show you because I logged on today and I found this sucker here. It says, for the bad luck, and it's signed Gut. Um, and like a, you know, <laughs> like an excited child on Christmas, I couldn't help but peek at it before the, uh, the, the, the I started recording. So, I do know what it is, and it is in fact, let me get it, there we go. It is in fact a Sido. He brought us a Sido over here. It is not the crazy. It's level 202. It has 40 levels into food and 43 in the stamina so it's got some really high stats and some lower stats um 33 weight not bad 32 health is not crazy 25 melee is pretty low but you know it was really cool of him the cooler part about it is i think what had happened is he's from kind of breeding sinos is i think he gave us one of his frankenstein side projects but look how cool it is it's like white yellow and like a neon orange it's such a very very vibrant orange so that was really cool of them. We'll probably use this thing uh, just because it's neat and we don't have any color on our Sinos. Badger, I love you. You're just not very bright and colorful. So, yeah. With all that being said, we need a name for it. It is a female Sinnoh. It is this bright yellow, orange, and, and white. So, yeah. Definitely leave a name and suggestion down below. We'll probably end up using it, I would imagine, because I've been using most of your guys' name suggestions. I have seen. Okay. I've seen, the talking about name suggestions, I've seen what you guys have said for the Amargosaurus and the Rexes, and I'll show you the names we picked for those later. But with that being said, let me show you the last update on our army here before we go after this Uteranus, because uh, I have been quite a busy beaver on working on them as well, because we need 17 other T-Rexes besides the one that we use every day. Um, and I did that. So I went ahead and raised them all to adulthood. I've imprinted on all of them. I've also gone ahead and done some leveling on them. Not probably enough. I think they all... Ah! I think they all have about 30-ish levels on them, which is not, like, it's really not that high of a level. But uh, it is what we're working with here. So all of their stats are roughly the same. We've got them all over to 60,000 health, which I think might be a lot of health. It really might. Like, it might be maybe too much health. But I'm so worried that we don't have enough armor on this Rex title that's going to be bad. And then they all have, like, a couple of levels in melee. Because I think, um, I think base rec stats on these guys, they are 650. So, that's what I've done. Not a lot of leveling. Obviously, we're probably going to have to do a lot more leveling, which I would do. It just takes so long to do. And after imprinting on all of these rexes and then not having the stuff to imprint on some of them and having to breed up a new pair, it, dude, it took a long time. So... At least now, we have the uh, building blocks of our army ready to go. Awesome. So, yeah, I think I think that's everything that needs to be said, right? 17 Rex is there. I've got the one that we use all the time on our inventory. Right? Yes, I think that's right. So, yeah, we are going to be going after a U-Tyrannus today. And it's going to be quite the uh, pain in the butt to do, I think. Because they've got... They're just, it's bad. It's going to be so, oh, wrong, incorrect. Let me just turn this on so I can stop guessing. Here we go. Uh, it's going to be really bad because um, for all of my newer ARC viewers, and I apologize again to my grizzled ARC vets who already know this, the Utyranus has a special ability with its roars, and in the wild, it's going to roar at us. 
and it's gonna probably take a couple times but it's gonna it, like scare whatever we're writing so the wyvern right now and when that happens the wyvern is just gonna take off in a random direction and start flying away and we're not gonna have any control of it so this is probably gonna suck a whole very lot um yeah, so that's what we're going to do. I don't think the level on it really matters a whole heck of a lot because um, it's not really going to be doing any fighting. So uh, I'll give you guys, some of your newer guys, a rundown. The too long didn't read version of the Uteranus when we have one so I can actually demonstrate it. But I'm going to spend some time flying around and looking for these suckers. And I'll bring you guys back when I find something. There are manas everywhere, honestly. What's going on with you, sir? I'm not going to get to find out on my... <laughs> What's going on with you? Whatever. All right. BRBs. Oh, it's 140. All right on. Okay. We can try and tame that. There's also an Ice Wyvern over there fighting some mammoths, though. This might be a little tricky. Um, That actually didn't take very long to find at all, which I appreciate so much, Ark. Thank you, God, for not making me spend so long searching for stuff. Very helpful. Um... Okay, so the way we're going to be trying to tame these things is similar to how we tamed all those Rexes a while back. I'm going to use the billboard method as well as the bear trap method. So hopefully we can get this to work. I'm not sure if it does. I think I probably could have harpoon gunned this thing, although I'm just now realizing it is so bright. Um, I'm just now realizing that I didn't move all the stuff over from Badger onto our new Sinnoh here, so... We won't have our net gun for this try, which is maybe something I should have thought about. But <laughs> it is what it is. We're going to have to just make this work as we go here. So I like that. And then hopefully this is wide enough to get one in here and place that down like so. We are going to have to deal with its cronies, though. I'm not sure what the best way. That ice wyvern is stressing me out so much. Um. Okay. Okay. I think we're just going to have to fight fight the uh carnos away which sucks but i i can't think of any other way to do it i can't i don't know i don't know how we're gonna do it i think we just have to just man up and get it done so <laughs> it's gonna suck okay um well let's try it shall we if i just sit like right here it should aggro over eventually but we gotta try and aggro it this way so that it runs in and hits the bear trap come on come on Okay, we're just gonna have to play possum with it. Ugh! Okay, one of them dead. Come this way, this way, this way, this way. Good. Oh no! The Cardo's gonna trigger the trap! Don't trigger the trap, Cardo guy! We need this guy to do it. Come on! Perfect! Okay, and then I can go over here like so, and then hopefully trap it like that. Alright! Not too bad! That didn't that wasn't very bad at all. Um there are there is a Cardo in there with it, which is kind of a problem, but you know. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. This is what about you? Are you in there with it? Oh, just one shot that card. That's so bad. Oh, good. This will be prime meat too. Awesome. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. I think I'm just gonna knock out the Carno and then kill it when it's knocked out from a safe distance like this. That's the only smart thing I have. I oh my god. If we had our other Sino Badger with all the stuff, we could just grab bullets and shoot this thing but oh we, you know what i guess that works okay here we go time to knock out the utyranus so it should be business as usual here we did just get 40 something pieces of prime meat from those garnets so should be good i'm gonna go ahead and you know that you know the drill you should all know the drill by now knock it out tame it up and then i'll bring you guys back once it's ready to go uh okay i don't know why that one didn't count but whatever oh you just ate your dude <laughs> what, is, what is going on here uh, yeah, so I'm going to spend some time trying to knock it out, and um, we'll get this thing tamed up. So, bear bees! Alright guys, so while our Utyranus is taming over there, I thought we could come back to base and do a few things. I already moved all of our items from Badger onto this new unnamed Sinnoh here, so that's good. I remember to do that, but while we're here as well, we should probably try and make up a Utyranus saddle. Now... I feel pretty strong that we might have... Okay, cool. There's an apprentice one in there. Oh, my God. 456 silica pearls? We probably don't have that just sitting there. Um, Let's see. Do I have one already made? That would be so huge. UT. Oh, we do. It's a journeyman one. Oh, 62? We should probably check the armor on this one. Oh, my God. This is so expensive. How much armor is on this one? 
34? Okay, this one is night and day better, and we don't have to make it. Awesome. Very good, very good. I was going to say, I feel pretty strongly that somewhere along the line, we found you Tyrannus stuff, so I'm glad that that turned out to be true at least. God, okay, cool. I was going to say, we're going to have to take some time to make that, but I guess not. Um, yeah, so at least now we'll be able to go and take our you Tyrannus straight from being tamed to be able to go use it. But while we're doing this, I'm going to fill you guys in on um, what exactly I named these two things, or the two names that stuck out. First name for the Amargosaurus. You guys gave some great names, but I think what I'm going to go ahead and change it to is uh, something goofy. I'm going to, it's going to be named Pinhead. <laughs> I should, Pin, okay, you know, I'll even do Larry. He's Pinhead Larry. Right? I spelled pin wrong. I made the wrong pin. I, nobody looks at that. Nobody, nobody, no, 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 no. Like this. There we go. Pinhead Larry. There we go. SpongeBob reference check because he's got pins in his head and he looks like a Larry check. There you go. A Marcosaurus name is Pinhead. Now, you guys gave me a lot, and I mean a lot to think about for what we were going to name the Purple Rex. And, God, we, we're not going to name all 17 of them. There's just no way. That's a lot of attachment to try and form onto 17 different Rexes. But, we will name one Rex, right? And that one Rex will be one that we just kind of take with us and does, you know, above normal army stuff. So... Uh, as I was reading through names, I came up with one in my head that I just, it just resonated with me and stuck really hard. So, without further ado, let me interest you or show you guys this guy here. I think this is great. I think you guys, you guys are going to love this. Ready? So, we got Pinhead Larry, and then we got Grimace. <laughs> Grimace the T-Rex. You know, because SpongeBob is McDonald's, because we're all children inside. So, there you go. I think... <laughs> I think it's a really goofy name, and I love both of them. So, those are the names that we landed on for these two things. I think they're great. Um, don't forget, we need to name this Sinnoh here, and I have absolutely no idea what we're going to name it. It is... It's weird. It's like a neon orange red. So, good luck with you guys. Try and come up with something for this one here. And with that being said, I'm going to, I guess, sit here and wait a while longer for our Utyrannus to be tamed. At least this way... We could actually go out and do stuff with it as soon as it's tamed up. So, BRBs. All right. So, our Utyrannus is finally tamed up. It took a little bit there. But let's check out its stats. See what we're working with. And let's see. So, we got uh, 28 in health. Not very good. 34 stamina, which is decent. 37 melee. We actually got something with really good melee. Unfortunately, it's on a creature that's not going to be doing any melee attacks. It's just, oh, God. That sucks. Um, and then 25 weight, nothing special there. But, God, that's really I meant? Really? The, the one we get for real is, I just, oh, whatever. Um, so, we have our Utyrannus here. Let's go ahead and put him down here like so. So we can use him, throw him down, and let's get him on his saddle. So, um, I do already have a name in mind for this Utyrannus. And I'm going to explain to you guys why it works the way it does here in a second. But first... Let me give you guys, my new ARC viewers, the too long didn't read version of why the U-Tyrannus is great and why we want one for this boss fight. So, uh, it does have some abilities on it. It's not like a normal T-Rex. It is, it is, besides it being way more furry and gone through puberty, this T-Rex uh, has the ability to roar and make different things happen. So, the first one here is, um, is that the right one? No, this one. This one? There we go. Right? There we go. You can see the little circle above the other T-Rex's head in the green and yellow there. Uh, this roar here has the ability to buff the animals within range of the roar. And when the buff happens, I, I believe they do more damage and they take less damage. So our already strong Rexes will already will be, just be even stronger, essentially, right? So that's why we wanted this thing, because we were going to sit on it. It's going to be the guy that we ride in the battle on for the boss fight. And we're going to essentially just buff. All of our other Rexes, while the pig's healing them and stuff, so that they're taking less damage and dealing more damage, right? That is the entire goal and the reason we tamed this thing. Um, it does have another roar, I think, this one, which has zero effect on any of our tamed creatures, I think. Hmm. Excuse me. I think that roar, like, scares away creatures. However, it has zero to no effect on, um, or very little to zero effect on the, the, the boss, so... We won't be using that very much, and I think that might be it. And then it's, oh, oh, 
Oh, yep, there we go. And then besides that, it uh, has like a normal bite attack. So, cool. That's what we're going to do today is we are going to take out our new u Tyrannus and do some stuff. Uh, let me go ahead and grab our gun. I just put that away. And then instead of bringing out Windu and then the whole new trio actually of Luau, Sandstorm, and Windu to go and kill some things, I thought it would be better for our new general of sorts to go and lead its troops, right? I just, it's fitting. It's fitting to me. So that's what we're going to do today. Let me put Watson away. And uh, about that name. So there's only one name in my mind for a general that's going to be leading our troops. And I'm going to show off a little bit of the history buff inside me uh, <laughs> right now. So that you hear that noise? That was so delayed. Yeah, so that that name is... Dude, there's only one name befitting of something that you would call a general. And we're going to name this thing Patton. Just have to. We have to name it Patton. If you know, you know. History buffs, you know. General Patton. It's just... It, it's good times all around. It is so bright. The snow biome is so weird sometimes, man. It's either bright or dark. All right, but I figured it would be... Oh, look at that. What is that? <laughs> Did you see that? Um, Level 20 Rex. Perfect. So... Let's go ahead and send him in now, like so. We'll just send we'll send in Grimace now, and then we'll send him in on something else, and we'll see what the buff does, actually. Um, okay, Grimace, listen, buddy. You're not making Patton look good right now. Go in there and beat that thing's butt. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Let's see what it does. Okay, so he does hit it. Hit the Rex. Come on, Grimace. 503 to that. 437 on the Rex. Okay. So, with a roar, let's give it some courage here. A courage roar. Good old courage. Like so. And then let's give it one more for good measure. And then we'll send it after that Carno over there. Let's see exactly how much damage this thing is doing now. It should be substantially more, I believe. Okay, good. Good, you're getting stuck on a rack. All right. My troops are already looking strong. Get it. Get in there. 546. So, um, not, not a crazy one, but still one to take the eye on nonetheless keep this thing maybe it doesn't take more damage i don't know it it i don't know i don't know if it does more damage it definitely receives less damage that i know of so yeah also this is why let me just do a whistle passive here uh why would this wing will not be doing damage in the fight because we do very little damage 188 oh my god kill the dire wolf please kill it kill it come on there we go nice um that's why. That's why we're not going to be doing a whole lot of fighting with this thing in the arena. It does s substantially less damage. And we have a super high melee roll on this thing. What was it, 37? That's outrageous. So, yeah. In the boss fight, this is going to be the guy that we riot on, essentially leading the troops around with. Not one that you want to fight with. So, there you go. But for, for the time being, we're going to run around here and just kill some things with our guy and try to get some levels on it. That way, it's not totally underprepared when we get to the uh, the boss fight. It has a fighting chance at living. Um, I think the main thing that you want with u is stamina. Because I think... We can test that out right quick. Let's see. I think when you roar... Yeah. See that in the top right? Every time I roar, it eats through my stamina. So, we're definitely going to have to apply some levels to that. And then probably into health. And then literally zero into melee. Because for reasons I've already told you about... So, yeah, that'll be the that'll be the go-to deal here. Let's see. Um, let me get a, a roar on our guy here. Come on. Roar on it. There we go. Nice. So it should ideally be receiving less damage now, right? Yeah, there you go. That's how it works. It's less damage. There it is. It's not more damage. You receive less damage. I came to the right conclusion eventually. It's just been a minute. Okay. Can we just... Can we kill this thing, please? It's getting... It's freaking me out. Come on. Come on! So, yeah. Usually when you have a Rex... Oh, that was a 140 Mammoth. Um, usually when you have a Rex army, you want to get their melee up more than what we have it at now. Like, you want it to be doing, like, almost 1,000 damage per bite. And ours are only doing, like, 500-something per bite, which has me a little worried that when we get in there, we're not going to be able to kill these bosses fast enough. But without having the saddle, I'm, like... Um, did you see that that mammoth just die up there? It was crazy looking. Um, without having the blueprint for the saddle, it's got me so worried that they're going to die so fast that I have put... I'm, I'm more willing to put way more health points onto Rex than normal. So, yeah, I don't know. We definitely need to do some more leveling of our Rex guys, which is going to suck. It's going to take a lot more time. But what are you going to do? Let's see if I can... 
while we're doing this fight. Let's see if I can fear ward these guys. Let's see. It should make them purple, right? Yeah. See, and then it runs away. Perfect. Perfect. So that's its other ability, but however, that's going to have zero effect on what we're doing. Against the boss. Okay. Grimace, you're going to just not get stuck on me there. Here we go. Game on! Kill them all, buddy! Kill everything here! I don't want to fear roar right now because if things start running off, Grimace is going to take off after him trying to kill him, and then it'll just be a whole big ordeal. Come here, man. Come here, wolf guy. Nice. 130 wolf. Kill this Anki. Grimace is coming for me, man. There we go. <laughs> it should be good. We're going to have, no matter what, we're going to have a very strong fighting chance at this boss fight. So, you know, you can, not much more you could ask for than at least have a chance. I've taken all the necessary steps and precautions. Hmm. They're like, there's really not more I think I could do. Besides, like, obviously at this point, I've beaten the saddle thing to death. So obviously having a better saddle would help. But the only other thing I can think of that we could do is uh, tame some more Rexes and look for a, a higher base melee stat. And I don't really want to do that because I don't want to do all the mutations again. So, yeah, I think... I would think that we we're officially just going to go in with whatever we got at this point, And it's just going to have to work. It's just going to have to work. Um, what do we got? We got seven levels. So, you know me. I like to sit comfy at 10k health. And then, oh my god, like right on the dot. Uh, 10k health just so we can have a little bit of a buffer and try and live during the fight. And I think the rest of this is we're going to spend trying to get the stamina up. I'm thinking maybe out of this number, 1848, maybe we can get to like 3,000. That would be good. That should suit us with... I would say more than enough stamina to be ready for the fight. So, yeah, that's the goal. Let's see if I can find anything else big to fight because I don't want to just... Oh, big dumps, Patton. I love it. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to be sitting here fighting wolves this whole time. Let's see if we can find another Rex or something. Or another U-Tyrannus. Let's find a U-Tyrannus and it's in his buddies to kill if we can. Um, oh, God. Okay, I see. I see Carnos. They're going after this RG. Grimace, get in here. We got a fight on our hands. Turf war. Turf war. <laughs> Kill it. Kill him. I'll take this one on. You take those ones on. We'll teamwork this. No problem. Okay. Grimace, you're really letting me down right now. Here comes the other Utah Rannis. It's a huge fight. Terrible disaster fight. Grimace, if you don't start getting your act together and, and fighting these things, that's also the reason that we're not going to be uh, really doing damage when we're in the arena. It's because if I have them all and attack my target or whatever, every time I attack something, all the Rexes are going to stop fighting the boss and turn around to fight something else, right? So, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, All right, further in we shall go. How many levels did we get out of that? Let me drop essentially all this stuff. Do we need anything in here? No, we're good. We're good. Drop all of that. I'm going to actually save the feet. Hold on. I'm saving the feet. There we go. Now drop everything. Uh, Four more levels. Let's see. How much... Does it go up with one level? Oh my god. That was like just under 200, right? Let's see. 2032 to 22. Yeah, just. Just. Un oh my god, why? Just under 200 uh, per, which is good. That means we'll be able to get our stamina up really fast in a very short amount of time. Okay. Let's go. Oh, oh, okay. Patton. Ow! Patton is going in, I guess. Who dropped this egg? What is this? It's a U-Tyrannus egg? It's not our U-Tyrannus egg, so it must have been the one that we just killed. <laughs> oh, my God. That's terrible. Um, All right. Well, another Marcosaurus on the menu. Get in here, Grimace. How are you doing? He's probably he's probably getting heavy. Probably getting heavy. Kill this sucker. I'm going to let out all my rage for taming you guys right now. Sick of it. You guys are such an expenseful tame. Expensive, rather. To tame it is ridiculous. It takes so much effort. You gotta make the bullets. You gotta make the soups. You gotta make the kibbles. <laughs> it's so bad, dude. I don't understand on the Amargasaur. If the Amargasaur is like one of your favorite teams, I'm sorry. Maybe you can enlighten me, but I don't understand why they made it such a pain in the ass to try and tame for his very, like it's not good at all. So I'm, it's gotta be, oh, we gotta be really careful because the Wyvern Trench is right there. Um, it's gotta be, right, that it's better for PvP. It's gotta be a PvP, like, raid dino, right? It's gotta be. Um, Grimace, I need you to not take this wide turns here, buddy, because we are very strangely close to the freaking 
Wyvern Trench, and I don't want you cannonballing into that sucker because it's going to be quite the fight if that happens. I honestly, I feel like we might be okay. Can we kill this? Oh my god. Okay, good, good. Can we walk up this like men? Can we, can we just, no? Okay, well, <laughs> it's never that easy, is it? We got another u Tyrannus here on the right. See if we can just walk right up this, no problem. Grimace, can you get up this, no problem? Okay, it's a huge disaster. Turf war. <laughs> oh my god. For having an insane melee, this is why I was like, this is why I was so upset about having high melee on this thing. We just don't do any damage at all. Oh, it's so frustrating. Maybe one day we'll build an army of Utyranus and we'll buck melee. Who knows? All right, let's get 3,000. We're actually going to be able to accomplish that like no problem here at all. Oh, maybe right now. No, just shy. One more level and we'll have 3,000. That's pretty good melee, right? Uh, maybe a little more. That's still We're still doing about a third of our stamina every time I roar. Oh, no, a little less. This might be more than enough. That might be more than enough. I might, like, we're going to get a lot of levels here, so we might go up to, like, 4,000 just to be safe and then dump all the rest of it straight into, I guess, health. Um, we can do maybe a little melee damage on it, but there's, like, there's actually zero reason to. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Come on. Come on now. Kill everything. Get in there, Grimace. I'm really stoked to at least try out the freaking Rex at this point. We've been doing this for so long now. Preparing, doing the caves. I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to do it. I'm real nervous still too. Okay. Uh, boom and boom. I can't believe we're gonna hit 4,000 stamina on this. This is wild. It's wild. We are heavy again. Let me drop all this stuff. Let's check on Grimace as well. Grimace, come here, buddy. Um, how are you doing? You got a bunch of levels and you're low on weight. So. Grimace, um, you've got, also I've got him to 60,000. I'm just gonna put more melee on Grimace than the other ones just because Grimace is our own personal Rex at this point. He's not part of the, like, he is part of the army, but he's not. So, all right, I want our guy to be doing more damage than the, um, the peons in, in, the, in the army that don't have names. Who else do we got to kill here? Probably more Amargasauruses, I imagine. Oh, yeah, speak of the devil. What's going on with you, big man? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Get in there, Grimace! Not so tough now, are you? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Well, I'm going to spend a little bit of time sitting here mauling things, trying to level our guy up, and then I'll bring you guys back when we have a little bit more of a show of dominance. So, as of right now, that's the plan. All right, guys. So, I've been walking around killing things for a little bit here. I've got a few levels, but I think... I'm not sure, but I think I saw something truly terrifying in front of us. So, um, I don't see it right now. Of course, it's probably hiding in the trees. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and give ourselves the six levels I do have. Um, what I say? 4,000 stamina nights. And then I think the rest of the stuff, honestly, just health. Just health. We need to keep this guy around for as long as possible. Windu, do you got any levels? No, you don't. Okay, you're good. You're chilling. Um, all right. Let's see if we can do this. How are you on health? You got 57,000. Not bad. I might be good enough. I guess if we get panicky, we can call out, um, I call him Windu? Patton and Grimace. Uh, if we do get panicky, I do have Windu here. I got the whole tree. I got Sansom, Luau, and Windu. So if worse comes to worse, we can, uh, we can hopefully be okay. But down here, excuse me, down here in front. Yeah, look at that. Look, there, look, do you see that? Oh my God. Um, Okay, guys, so level 25. This should be pretty easy. In in theory, in theory, we should be able to kill this Alpha T-Rex no problem. All right, sorry about that. I had another coughing fit. I don't know what's... I've, allergies are kicking my butt, but... But, but, nice. Uh, <laughs> this should be an ideal test. Let's let it sit there and, and kill that mammoth real quick so it doesn't interfere. But this should be a pretty good test to see if we're going to be anywhere close to ready to fight this Dinopithecus King. If at all possible, hopefully we destroy it. You had, what, 57,000 health? So we'll be able to get an idea of how it's going. Let's go ahead and just let's send Grimace in. Obviously, we're not going to be doing a lot of the fighting ourselves. I'll try and help a little bit here. Let's get a Courage Roar. Nice. All right. Good luck, Grimace. You got this 1v1, buddy. Hit it hard. Hit it strong. Let's do an 81 a bite. Oh, my God. Oh. I, I want to help it out, but I know if I do, it's going to be bad. 
best I can do is courage roar it. Here you go, man. <laughs> All right, screw it. I'm going to help out a little bit. I'll get 188 damage a bite compared to your 615. But you know what? We're going to whittle it down together. Oh, it's bloody. But we're handling it. Handle it, Grimace. Tell us who's who. Don't let it make fun of you for being that weird purple blob from McDonald's. You know? I think you're supposed to be a shake. I don't know. Just, you know, don't let him don't let him tell you that the fries are the best thing in McDonald's. You get on his ass. Yeah. Here we go, dude. Get him. Get him. Get him, Grimace. Fight it out, buddy. Oh, we're handling this. No problem. I want to see how much damage Grimace takes, though. That's going to be nice. That's going to be the true uh, kicker here. So I didn't, I don't see a bag. I don't think Patton got it. Patton, did you end up with anything in here besides meat? No? Okay. So Grimace must have got it. Let's see if he ended up with anything. An Alpha Tyrannosaurus Tooth. Very good. I'm going to grab that and this. And everything else seems kind of pedestrian. Oh, you know what? I'm going to grab this. Oh, well, it's a woolly rhino horn. I was like, what? How do you have a death worm? But, okay. So he only took, he took like nothing. What? He took like 5,000? No. Five, six, seven, 3,000 damage. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and give you some more melee, buddy. Um, That's not bad. I mean, it was only a level 25 Alpha T-Rex, but it was still an Alpha T-Rex, right? That's a kind of an okay gauge. That kind of has me feeling like maybe I'm just being paranoid, but I don't know. This game will humble you so fast, man. It'll set us back to square one so fast. I feel like I'd rather be over paranoid than not paranoid enough and just and, and just struggle, right? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Do you guys go about your life in art? He's going to run right off the edge of the cliff. Watch this. Grimace is going to turn around and run right off the edge of the cliff. Don't do it. There you go. We're good. We're good. Uh, Yeah, do you guys worry about things like I do in art? Do you guys over like prep and stuff? I don't know. We could. That's the thing, though. I don't know. I haven't fought Dinopithecus King yet, so I don't know how hard it's going to be. Because the boss is obviously very in difficulty, so I don't know. We can either dominate this or just get <laughs> totally torn apart. I don't know. But that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow, guys, I think. Hopefully that's what we're doing tomorrow. Unless I come up with something in my brain that needs more doing, I think we're going to be taking on the Dinopithecus bosses tomorrow. Hopefully that's what we're doing. Like I said, I'm going to have... A I have a whole very lot of work to do in between episodes, guys. I have to finish leveling up our Rex army. I have to level up the two Tyrannus. I should probably level up Luau a little more. Um, and then we got to transfer everything over to an Oblet. It's got, I got work to do. So that's what's going to happen in the next episode. Don't forget, guys, please, if you made it this far, leave a comment down below. What are we supposed to name the Sinnoh? It's going to be a big part of our life. Hopefully I don't get it killed. Uh, but yes, let me know. I, I just... Give me an idea what you want it as. You never know. It might work out. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. It's going to be a doozy. I'm out. Peace.